Now it's time we take a trip down memory lane as Rolando Blackman recalls his game tying free throws in the 87 All Star game and what it meant to him in this edition of Storytime. Hi there, I'm Rolando Blackman, and I've got a story to tell you. Remember the 1987 All-Star Basketball game in Seattle? Some of the greatest stars we've seen in today's game, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Worthy. The other side had Michael Jordan and Bird, all the players from the Celtics. It was, it was a tremendous game in Seattle, and knowing that we had to try to get on out there and play the game, Mark Aguirre and I really had a, a good time and a good opportunity to show our worth here from Dallas in that 87 game to being able to play the game. When you go into a game like that, up and down, back and forth, you have to know and understand that you're amongst your peers. You're amongst the people who you are judged against. You're playing not only in Seattle against the in, with the NBA, but also you're, you're playing in front of the world. It's a really, really, really uh, fortunate thing to be able to have that privilege and that understanding. You have to know and understand that at the end of that basketball game, when now uh, Moses Malone makes that makes that turnaround shot, puts the puts the game into a situation where where they have a two point lead, and now we have to come down and put the ball in the hole. I finally get an opportunity to grab and run up to the ball at the end. At the end, Magic was covered. Everybody he had pointed was covered, and the last option was me at, in the corner. And I, and I came out of that corner, got the basketball, and saw that it was Larry Bird there, and it was like, oh my goodness, I just, I just, did, a, I just did a quick crossover on him because I'm faster than him, and uh, just took the ball right to the basket. And I knew one thing in my mind, I'm not shooting any jumpers. That's the main factor, to being able to get on in there and to be able to take the ball to the hole tough and strong. And that's exactly what I did. And here come, came the horde of players all around with Isaiah and Jordan. I don't know who else was there hacking the heck out of me. And at the end of that, you could see it's a boyhood dream that that happens. When that buzzer goes off, you look up. It's the same thing we all do when we're, we're little kids all the time. <gasps> look up, no time on the clock, two shots down. And you could see me preparing also too. The thing that happens with everybody and that kind of a thing, it's a normal thing. Your body goes into this thing. Your body starts to, <gasps> and, you, and you now have to control your mind and put yourself in a place where you have done this before, over and over again. And in that, I went into the same preparation that I've had. Touch the fingertips, go and set the mind, go away and come back. But what was special about this was that here comes the, here comes the street game, baby. Street game was coming up. Here comes Isaiah talking mass trash, talking stuff on me all over the place, calling me all kind of names, trying to do what? As we all know, trying to break the concentration and the, the mind to being able to now divert from what I had to do, which was to hit two free throws. That stuff's not funny. People think it's like, uh -huh, it's the fans thinking it's funny, people at home. I'm sitting there with my life on the line trying to hit two free throws. At the end of the day, Magic and Isaiah over there having fun, laughing. I can remember listening to Isaiah. You can't make the free throw, you. And then Magic is covering his mouth up. And they're both laughing over here. And I'm saying to myself here, concentrate on what I have to do. Making sure you get the proper bounces. To see the range. Making sure up and over. This is it. Cannot fail here. You got to be able to be confident. So I just kept telling myself, confidence, baby, confidence in my mind. Confidence, baby, up and over, up and over. Confidence, confidence. See the target, up and over the target. And I went up there and, and, and bounced the basketball with all the noise going on all over around me and put that basketball up. It was a little short, but it was exactly straight. It bounced to hit the front rim, hit the back rim and went in. Boom! I turned around quickly because now I had the target. I just, I just needed a little bit more. I felt that here comes Isaiah again, going off, making noise. But the thing that, the, the thing that, was, that I had to reset the mind was when you look to the left a little bit, there was Julius Irvin talking trash. <gasps> the doc was talking trash. I was like, oh man, doc was doing limp wrist stuff. So I redirected and replaced my brain now. Now I was a little bit upset and I was like, yo, this is shoot. Okay, here we go. Here comes all the Brooklyn in me now. Here comes the Brooklyn, New York in me now. Whatever, here we go. So I put the ball down. One, two, three, four. Look up, lock in. And in my mind, in my heart, I'm saying confidence, baby, confidence. Confidence, baby, confidence. Confidence, baby. And as I put the ball up in the air, I could feel it. I could feel it go off the fingertips. And I'm saying confidence, baby, confidence. And as it hits, I say confidence, baby, confidence! To being able to put that ball in the hole, turn, and the greatest feeling ever in the world, to have 
high fives and touches and everything from some of the greatest players in all the world. That was satisfactory to me. We were able to go into the overtime, subsequently win that 1987 All-Star game. One of the most proud moments I've ever had, not only for the world, for the Maverick organization, for myself, but doing it amongst your peers is, is the greatest thing ever. I appreciate this opportunity and um, I'm glad Rolando hit those free throws. That's my story today. love that Brooklyn confidence. Rolando, thank you. We could listen to you tell stories all day long. Now, Mavs fans, calendar update. March 4th is the 7th annual Mavs Ball, and you can get your tickets online at Mavs.com slash Mavs Ball. This event benefits the Mavs Foundation, which is dedicated to building a stronger community for women, families, and children in North Texas.